this piece is going to be an L-shaped desk to go in the corner. It's got to have a round on it. You've still got to have a piece of desk here, so what I'm going to do is work out where I want the round, which is about there. So I want it to finish curving about there. So what I'll do is measure from there to this inside corner. Make the same measurement there. And then using my compass from that point and that point, I'll sweep an arc. That'll give me a centre point. So that should give me a, a circle. I measured that, transferred it over to there. Then I set my compass to that distance, which is the same as that distance. I could have just transferred it over like that, but I didn't, I measured it. And then from that point there, if I can get it on, I made a mark there, then moved it over here, made a mark there. That then became the centre of my curve. I'm going to cut this out with the router. I might drill a little hole just there just to help locate the screw. Uh, put my half inch bit back in the router here. And on my fence there's a couple of holes I drilled. Which allows me to screw this, if I take this off. It allows me to screw that to a board so that I can make curves. Now that's screwed down to this board, the cutter's near the edge. And what I can do is from there, drill a hole. So that's my centre mark, like I say I drilled it out a little bit just to help me locate the screw. I'll screw that to that. I purposefully put that screw slightly back, see we cut us back from the edge, but using the adjustment on the fence. I can slide that up to that line, make a cut, maybe adjust it a little bit more. I'm nearly through so I'm going to push the cutter so it goes all the way through so I've got plenty sticking out the other side. If you just just skim it, the veneer might chip a little bit on the other side if you, if you don't quite go through it all the way. very slightly off my line, only about less than a millimetre, but that last cut I've got a step on for whatever reason, it's a very small step, so I'm going to move my router over just a fraction and do one clean cut, one final cut. Let's put a pencil mark there, so I know how much it's moved. Give it a tap. 
easiest way to move at a fraction. It's just a very small amount, less than a millimetre. Now all I've got to do is cut down there, cut down there, and I've got my curve. I'll set my saw at maximum depth. Don't know if I can show you. I've set my saw at maximum depth because I want that bit at the front to be as steep as possible. I don't want it like that where it tapers back, if that makes sense. Can't show you with two hands. But when I get to this point where the curve is, I want it to be cutting as close to up and down as possible. And I don't want to be cutting from that way. So I'm hoping that this doesn't chip out. Going with the grain, so it should be good. Dropped a bit, but it's okay. Because I put these two timbers under, so that I wouldn't be cutting through my cross member. turned out as well as I'd hoped. Just a little bit of cleaning up there where it dropped, didn't really mark it. And on this one my curve was slightly off the line anyway so I just lined up the track with the curve. Got a little bit of cleaning up there. That's good. Now this desk is just getting supported on the back, two sides there, and the ends. The alcove finishes about two thirds of the way up there. There's nothing on this leg, so I'm going to have to create something, I think. And I want to thicken up the top, I don't think it maybe needs that much supporting, maybe another brace in the middle somehow. But I'm going to make a rail to go around, but it means bending something around that corner. I've just cut a couple of pieces of wood, straight grain as I can get, run them through the planer so they're the same thickness. I'm going to see if I can rip three out of this. I've got quite a fine cutting blade in the machine. So we'll see, I'm going to see if I can get three out of it. Right, these plane down to about two and a half mil, something like that. 
three of them make 18 mil which is fine and here built myself a little jig decided that this rail is going to be 20 mil back so I've clamped on some piece to make a form I put a bit of what do you call it packing tape around here see if I can stop it from sticking so I don't want it permanently on Taken all the clamps off this. That's dried. It's had plenty of time to dry. Put a couple of pencil marks on either end. So just line that back up a little bit. This is walnut stain, it's quite a fast drying stain, nitro cellulose, when I put it in the gun I'll filter it with the 190 filter again. Oh, that's two coats. It's a bit damp. I'm hoping that they'll dry similar colour. The first coat did.
Right, this is the top side of that desk piece. The stain stuff's underneath. It's sat on my mat, so hopefully it won't mark. But when I clamped them bits of wood on the other side to make that form, I made a mistake. I used bits of hardboard. You see they've gone through. I don't know if you can see. I dented my wood. I can't really sand these out because it's just a veneer. So I'm going to try and steam them out, wet my cloth, steam them, that should swell the wood back up. I should be able to get a lot of it out. I think that's just the grain. It was about there. It's gone now. Just see it there. Gone. Excellent. <laughs> right, this is dry. Did this yesterday. It's quite smooth because that stain goes off quite fast. It doesn't have time to swell the grain up. But I'm just going to go over it with a fine sanding pad just to remove any dust. Give it a coat, couple of coats of lacquer. Right, this is a 1.5mm ANI gun.
Now that's just had one coat of lacquer on it. It's quite smooth. So I'm going to just go over it with the 320 paper just very gently to remove any little nubbles. That's very smooth now.